So you want to learn how to short charge in Dragon's room. All right, let's do it. Uh, here we are in Dragon's room. I went ahead and defeated Dragon because I want to be able to show you uh, without having to worry about Dragon flying around or uh, being timed on whether Dragon's coming in or not. Just because I want to show you some visual cues that I use that help me perform a short charge in this room. Well, let's talk about some things I just said. First of all, I said the words short charge. What is a short charge? Well, first, we have to know what a charge is, right? So in Super Metroid, there is the speed booster. Um, you probably already know this, or maybe you wouldn't be watching this video. Speed booster is a, an item that allows you to, um, well, go really, really, really fast, also store, store a suit and spark, right? But if you notice, if I ran, I am not going to get a spark, or I'm not going to get a, a suit, right? I'm not going to get a suit by running back and forth. But what we can do is we can actually do what's called a tap to perform a short charge, basically shortening the amount of distance you need to perform a charge. So I'm going to show you what that looks like, and then I will kind of break down the visual cues that I use. So as you can see, I have just performed a short charge. But what I could not do from just running back and forth, as you can see, right? There's no possible way we can do this. But using very specific visual cues, I am able to uh, perform this trick. So I, I added an overlay down below, which I guess I should have had all along. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to be able to see. You can see when, I, when I'm doing the tapping. All right. So just to let you know, my, my buttons are standard. I don't do any changing. It's all default. So X, Y, B, A. They're all the same. So let's go ahead and do this one more time and then we can uh, slow it down and I can show you kind of step by step what's happening. So let's take a look at that. So what I like to do is you're going to be doing two taps, two taps. So how this is going to work is you're going to hold left. Okay, you're not gonna push any other buttons. You're just gonna hold left. And when you surpass this pipe right here, right where I laid that bomb, right here where I laid that bomb, just to the left of this pipe, you're going to tap B or run. Hold tap, okay? Hold tap right there. Hold tap. You're going to let go. Okay, you're not going to hold on to it. You're going to let go. And then you're going to tap one more time right right on the pipe the second pipe right where the bomb is so first one you're gonna hold left tap let go tap and then immediately hold run all the way through okay so we'll watch it again tap tap and then you can press down to perform a short charge we'll watch it again tap tap and you're gonna get this every time once you get these two taps down your whole life is going to change here. Tap. Tap. Okay, so... So that's that's how we're going to do the Shine Spark from the right. But now you're probably asking yourself, how do we do it from the left? Well, there are some visual cues for that one as well. So, for this one, I like to tap here on these bones i guess you could call them bones maybe yeah probably looks like a rib cage of a fish or maybe the head of the fish i don't know just these first set of bones are right around the second bone itself that's the first tap so right here and then your second tap so by the way just just to clarify you're still doing it the same from a, from a technical perspective, you're gonna hold right, tap, let go of B, of run, and then you're going to tap again on the second spot, and then you're gonna hold run. So, first spot. The second spot is the to the left of this crab right here, or the left side of the crab where I'm laying this bomb. So if we put all that together, just like that. So tap tap 
boom. Now from this side, tap, tap, boom. And you could just practice back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And soon enough, it'll just be second nature to you. You won't even need to worry about visual cues or anything like that. I still use them because under pressure, you can get kind of, you know, nervous. Tap, tap, boom, easy. So just to clarify, again, to make it completely clear, as you can see in the, um, in the overlay, you're holding left the entire time, right? And you're tapping dot, dot, and then on the second dot, dot you're gonna hold on the second tap so dot dot you're holding on that second tap dot dot right so now that you have gotten this down then comes dragon um and there are obviously things you can do with uh we won't go through it on in, a, in this video, maybe in a future video, but so typically you'll see them doing something like this. Right? Shine spark through Dragon, the particles hit Dragon. Um, that's for a different video. Uh, I just wanted to give you some, some helpful tips on how to do the short charge and kind of what visual cues I use. I'll actually show you now what it looks like in a fight. Okay, so we'll go into the fight now and uh, I'll kind of show you what it looks like in the actual fight. Um, this isn't that kind of video, but I'm going to show you kind of what I do for uh, X Factor as well. So again, remember here and here and these babies, they're going to cross this pipe and that's when you're going to perform the short charge. Boom, just like that. Now what's neat is you can do a damage boost and get another one going. I kind of missed a little bit there, but you get the point. Bump, 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 bump. Boom, just like that. So that is how we do the Shine Spark at Dragon. I didn't get the blue suit, but that's okay. I was I, I was moving or I wasn't, you gotta like reset your, I don't really know the terminology of it. It's been a while, but uh, that, yeah, there you go. I hope that was helpful. Uh, and I'm hoping you're able to utilize these visual cues and, and maybe come up with your own. Um, but those are what work for me uh, consistently. So I hope you're able to um, improve your Dragon fights. Again, thank you all so much. Um, this is episode nine, I believe, of my Super Metroid tricks with Jaychuck. Um, if you would like to see other tricks, feel free to leave down some comments or message me on Discord. I would love to kind of walk through how I do things um, in a more visual kind of way. Uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Goodbye.